Hi, I'm Jason Hobbs. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the one-on-one -on -one version of my explanation of what a right message offer is. Now, what are they at the core of it is that they're the series of offers that you're going to be able to make to people within your right message call to action funnels. So my default offers are number one, a free email list sign up or possibly a content upgrade in order for people to sign up to the email list, right? And then the second step is whatever the next step is for email subscribers for your specific business. It could be a, a free something. It could be a low price gateway product. Whatever specific to your business, just what the next step is. And you can add as many offers in the future as you'd like. But to get started, those are the two that are going to really help you hit the ground running from my experience. So where do you manage your offers, these right message offers? Well, there's two places. Number one is the manage menu. When you're logged into the back end of your right message account, click on manage at the top and you'll see the drop down menu and you'll just click on offers. And that'll take you here where you can manage your current ones. As you can see, my email list is the first one and then on the left is book video call. That's the second step for my business, right? And you can also create a new offer there. Now, within the actual call to action funnels themselves, you're also able to not only add additional offers, but also edit current offers. So I'll show you here, when you click one of these little buttons that have the plus symbol, then you'll see a whole a flyout menu with a whole list of options obviously one of which is to pitch an offer. And then once you click on that, it then goes to a second flyout menu, which is going to first give you the opportunity to create an entirely new offer or to actually just pitch one of the offers that you already have set up. So there's two types of offers. Once you have it set up within right message, you say, okay, I'm creating a new offer. It's going to do one of two things when they click the button within that offer or, you know, the call to action button for that offer. And number one is it's going to do something with your email service provider. So here's an example. And as you can see, when the button is clicked, it's saying, hey, it's going to submit a convert kit form. And that's just because I have convert kit is the email service provider that I have connected to this account. It's the one I use, right? So in, within ConvertKit specifically, and I'm guessing with most of the others, the same will apply. You can either apply a tag within your email service provider once they you know, click the little button, or you can submit a form that you've set up over there. And obviously in this instance, I have a form that's going to be submitted that I've set up over in ConvertKit that's called, I have it labeled email list one, right? And then you can see that there's some, the same basic components that are going to be a part of the offer. So you have an image that you can put, you can upload, just you click on that image area there. You have obviously the three-part email course, that's the title. You have the description, which is organize your online marketing simply, affordably, and successfully. And then you have the form fields as well as the call to action button. Now in this one, I'm only, ha I'm only using an email address form field. And you could click that little button with the plus symbol and you could add additional form fields if you'd like. So on the right hand side, you can see it's going to display a message and it's also, it gives you the opportunity to redirect them once the offer is accepted. And in this case, I have them going back to forward slash success on my website. So one of the things to keep in mind too is anytime that you set up a widget where a call to action funnel will show up on your website, it's going to, the widget is always going to use one of these four themes. So as you can see, if you're using the plain one, it doesn't have an image, even though you could put up an image when you created the offer, if it that offer is going to display in a plain widget area, then it's not going to display the image at all. And if it does, like B Baloo, Paddington, or Yogi, if you have, it's going to show a different kind of, not cropped, but a, di well, I guess cropped, a different view of that same image. So 
you know, it's going to, it's going to have more depth if it's Yogi, it's going to have less depth if it's Baloo, and it's going to have more width if it's Paddington. So, just to keep in mind. And along those lines, here's an example of a plane theme that I've set up. And so this is actually my first offer is to join my email list. And as you can see, it doesn't have an image or whatever. And that's because of the plane theme is being used. Now, the other offer type is to go to URL. And it's really just a redirect, right? So here's an example of it. And as you can see, I put an image to it and I'm using the Paddington theme. So it's gonna not just show the whole image there, it's really gonna show more the eye contact more than anything with when it crops it. I'll show you that in a second. But you can see the same thing. You have the headline with the description and then you also have the uh, button, right? And on the right-hand side, you you've chosen go to URL, so it's going to change the options below it, and I need to know, it needs to know where to redirect people, and I'm using Calendly for them to go over and book their video call, right? And then do I want it to open in a new tab or not, uh, or is the other option there? So, and here's the Paddington theme example, and as you can see, it's kind of cropped that image, but it has the same, you know, the headline, the description, and the uh, button at the bottom, so. The pro tip to take away from this is just begin with your first two right message offers. If you watch the other videos, you're probably sensing a theme, which is don't just keep it simple. You know, don't try and do everything to begin with, because if you get your first call to action funnel out with your first two right message offers and your first two segmentation questions, it's going to start to improve your conversion rate immediately. Whereas if you're going to try and do something super complex to begin with and take you know take advantage of all the huge things that right message can do, then it typically it's going to take a lot longer for you to actually get anything up and working in front of people so that you can start to actually get some benefit from it for your business. So if you have any questions or anything I can help with, jason at jasonhobbsllc.com. Thanks and have a good one.